Onanjokwe Lutheran Hospital was built by missionaries under the leadership of Dr. Salma Reino from Finland. Onanjokwe has now joined the ranks of Katuturao Shakati and Rundu as an intermediate referral hospital. There are 560 beds with potential to increase to about 800 beds when the new maternity and pediatric units are completed. Its staff establishment currently stands at 952 with a post fill rate of 76%. In the future, Onanjokwe wishes to establish a fully-fledged radiology department with additional more capable diagnostic equipment. Some progress made at Onanjokwe includes the completion of renovations at the male and female surgical wards and at the TB ward and construction of an office for the head of department. Construction of the maternity and pediatric wards are also ongoing at an estimated cost of about $4.4 million and $59 million respectively. Onanjokwe Intermediate Hospital currently only has two ambulances with no new vehicles acquired since 2015. The available ambulances are old and considered unreliable for transporting emergency patients. We have to understand what you are trying to do. We know what you are trying to do. For example, the issue of transport. That one you can blame me. Because in 2020, the president decided that we cannot afford, we did not have enough resources to buy new cars. It was decided that we should not buy new cars. And maybe that is where the problem is. So we hope coming years we will now start buying cars. But when it comes to this when it comes to ambulances, I think there we have really to, to say that. If there's nothing like being in a critical health position. You are sick, seriously sick, and you have to be rushed to hospital or from one hospital to a, another hospital where the specialization is available and you can't, and your car cannot take you there. The hospital has an oxidation pond which poses a healthy hazard for the community, with some community members fishing and even selling fish from here. There is thus need to connect the hospital's sewer line to the Onipa Town Council. Tonatenia Imbodi, NBC News, Onipa.